Now let me introduce the multifunction switching and measure unit 34980A which is used to multiplex tap signals and pick programming signals as well as measure resistance and voltage. This is the front panel. Here is the power on and off button. For all the other buttons in the front panel, you can take a look at the manual if you are interested. I will not discuss them in this demo. Let's proceed to take a look at the rear panel. This is the power cord. This is the USB cable connecting to the PC. Communication between this instrument and the PC is through this USB cable. Then there are total 8 submodule slots which means this instrument can have up to a maximum number of 8 submodules. 4 slots on the left are numbered as 1, 2, 3, 4 from top to bottom and the other 4 slots on the right are numbered as 5, 6, 7, 8 from top to bottom. In PTI SSD project, we used three different sub-modules in slots 1, 2 and 5 respectively. 1, 34937A is used to control power on and off 48 boards independently as well as multiplex the X1149 tap signals. 1, 34921A is used to multiplex the PIC programming signals and 1, 34922A is used to measure resistance and voltage using the internal DMM. The three small boxes attached at the outer side of the three sub-modules are called terminal block. The terminal block is an optional part whose main purpose is for easier wiring. Without the terminal block, you have to either use the standard D sub-connector cable or make your own custom cable from a D sub-connector. The standard D sub cable is only available in 1.5 or 3 meters length. Hence it's not suitable for boundary scan test or programming use because it's too long. For how to wire the terminal block, you can refer to the wiring document in PTI project. And this is the end of the introduction of 34980A.